The loveliness of Paris seems somehow sadly gay. The glory that was Rome is of another day. I've been terribly alone and forgotten in Manhattan. I'm going home. To my city by the bay, I left my heart in San Francisco. High on a hill. It calls to me to be where little cable cars climb halfway to the stars. The morning fog may chill. I don't care. My love waits there in San Francisco, above the blue. These are last of the big ones. There's nobody left. All the great singers are all gone. But their music will live on forever. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sunday Night Edition of the Wise Up Show, July 23rd, 2023. And I hope everybody is doing well. Well, my special guest has been waiting very patiently in the green room. So I'm going to bring him on in a minute. But I just want to say that RJ is a very special person. He is an inspiration to all of us, both on YouTube and off YouTube. And I say that things are meant to be for a reason. It was meant to be for me to see him on Angel's show and to watch him talk and, to, and just to see his personality. And he brought back so many memories to me, so many childhood memories to me. And I'll, I'll go into that why that RJ holds a special place uh, I guess you could say in my heart and I'll t explain why, but without further ado, let me bring him on because he's been waiting in the green room very patiently. RJ, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you just fine. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you fine. How are you, buddy? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Uh, well, Ralph, thank you for bringing me on tonight. And, um, I made sure I charged up my Chromebook so we won't have any issues. <laughs> no, listen, I was just reading something that somebody said in the chat that I had rabbit ears, but that's Patty. But anyway, listen, I tell you, you know, you I don't know if you know this, RJ, but you're an inspiration to a lot of people. 
And the reason being is because you show us that, and I don't know if handicap or disability is the correct word to use, that it hasn't stopped you from leading somewhat of, or maybe a normal life. You know, you just, you just go on and do what you have to do. And, and it, it's, it's great. It's great what you do. You know, uh, I'm going to ask you a little later on why you got involved in YouTube and why you became a content creator. But why don't you start off by telling me now, I have to tell you, RJ, you are a miracle baby. Yeah. You are a miracle baby because what happened to you at birth, you know, the odds of you surviving very, very slim. So you definitely had. Yeah. Well, and, and that, and yes, and that in itself is a miracle. And you see, this is where I stump a lot of people because I have some people tell me, you know, I don't believe in the supernatural and I don't believe in miracles. And I'm like, well, you're look, well, you're talking to a miracle right now. You're standing in front of a miracle right now, or you're sitting in front of a miracle right now. Do you realize that I only had a two percent chance of survival when I was born in 1979? The doctors practically gave up on me and told my mom to pull the plug, to just let me die. And you're telling me you don't believe in a miracle? I mean, what? how can you not say that that's a miracle? Babies at that time did not live. They didn't survive. And if they did, they were a vegetable or they had mental defects a lot of the time. Or they only survived a few hours. You well, see what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, why? I mean, how is it that somebody cannot believe that Miracles still exist today. I grew up when I when I grew up. I grew up in a church that did not believe that miracles were for today. They did not believe in it. They believed it was only it was only for Jesus's time, and that was it. No miracles are today. They are today. They are for today. And I've told people that you know if, if miracles weren't for for today, I would not be here. You're talking to one. And that's what I tell people all the time. And I remember one time, I remember one time me and my mom were talking. And I said, Mom, I said, what's a miracle? And she said, do you want to know what a miracle is, son? Because we were studying miracles in, in Sunday school. I said, Mom, what is a miracle? And she says, son, do you know, want to know what a miracle is? It's you. I'm like, Mama, I don't understand. She said, son, it's you. You weren't supposed to be here. And then she gave me a hug. And she said, I know, I know you're a child and I know you're, you're six years old. But she said, son, you're Mama's miracle baby. I said, oh, well. What happened? She goes, well, you're a little too young for that now. But when you get older, Mama will explain it to you. And when I did get older, Mama told me the whole story. She was 25 weeks pregnant. Um, it was a Wednesday afternoon. It was Wednesday, May 30th, 1979. And she had went into labor. They rushed her to the hospital but the hospital could not take her because they didn't have a maternity unit. So they had to rush me to Orlando. So they rushed me into Orlando to Orlando hospital. Well, they rushed my mom to Orlando hospital. And the idiot on duty tried to tell the ambulance driver, Oh, we cannot accept her. We cannot accept her. And the ambulance driver said, this woman is about ready to give birth. Are you going to accept her now? So they brought out a doctor, and the doctor looked at my mom and said, Yep, get her inside now. So they got her inside, got her into the, into the um, delivery room. I was born, and I was one pound, five ounces, 11 inches. I was the smallest baby in the United States at that time. 
I had to stay in the hospital until I got to four pounds. That was six months. I was in the hospital for six months. They did not think that I would even survive. They and and, and not only that, they thought that I would be um, that that I would have uh, mental defects, that I would be mentally challenged. They um, the word back then was mental retardation, but we don't use that word anymore. But that's what they thought back then. They thought that I would be mentally uh, challenged. They thought that I would, you know, that I'd be blind, which of course happened. But they didn't think I would be able to lead a normal life. And they were wrong about that. They told, well, yeah. Well, they told my mom, they said, well, we can try to save him, but he is going to be blind, or you could just let him die in peace. And my mom's like, no. No, you're going to save my baby. You're going to do whatever you can to save my kid. Okay? And so that's what happened. So they brought me home. I was four pounds. And I have a picture album. I can't show you it because the album is very delicate. Mm -hmm. So otherwise I could show you okay. or I could have somebody show you. But I have one of the original diapers, the actual diaper that I would have worn as a baby. Wow. And I, and, um, it's, it's still intact. It's clean. Of course I didn't wear it, but, um, it's still intact. And my mom, one day she says, RJ, I want you to feel something. And I was like 16, 16 or 17. And she put this thing in my hand. I said, mom, what's this piece of paper? And she goes, piece of paper. She goes, that is the diaper. That that's a that's an example of one of the diapers you wore. I kept one of the diapers. That's all right. And so, so you could see it, so you could feel it. I said, that is small. Are you sure this didn't go on a baby doll or something? She goes, no, it went on a human being. It went on you. Wow. I'm like, oh my God. My head. To give you some sense of how of how big I was, my head was as big as a lemon, but my body was as big as a Barbie doll. Like I was, I was a, basically, basically you could say I was like a doll that you would buy at the store. That's how small I was. Well, people that don't believe in miracles are fools. And I, you know, there's no question that that particular day, the angels and God were with you. Mm -hmm. obviously, obviously. Exactly, exactly. And see, that's the thing. A lot of people don't say, well, um, I, I had someone try to discredit that and try to say, oh, well, that was that was due to science. I said science wasn't even fully. They, they, they didn't have the capabilities back then. So you can't even say it is science. No, that was and a doctor. And, and what was so weird when they said that a doctor was standing right there and and the doctor says he's right we didn't have the capabilities back then no i mean I, i've even spoken to nurses that were from that time period and they told me that a lot of the the mothers that would have babies at my birth weight or below they would see them the next day crying because their baby died during the night. Ugh. And I was the only one. I even made the newspaper. That's how That's how significant this was. And from what my mom told me, I was even on the news, on the national news, because I was so small. I was the first one to ever do it. I was the first one to ever survive. That birth that birth weight back then. Roger, let me just say this: it was meant to be. It was. It was meant to be for you to be here, it, it, you know, and to be here right now. Oh yeah. I, I, I want to say something to you. Is that? Yeah, go ahead. I don't know how to exactly word this, and I want to make sure I word it properly. Is that 
And I don't know if advantage is the word I want to use, but mm -hmm. there's a saying that goes that you miss what you once had, but you don't miss what you didn't have. And by yeah. that, I mean that you were born blind, so you don't know anything else but being blind. Yeah. It's because it would be different if you had your sight and then lost it. So that's what that's, that's what I mean by that saying. Well, and that there, that right there is close to my heart because number one, um, I have had friends from uh, my life. You know, um, I had a friend that what was a registered nurse, and she loved her job, and she lost her vision, and my sister. Uh, my half sister told me about it and gave me her phone number and I called her up and she had lost her vision for over a year and we started talking and all of a sudden she started crying and I'm like, well, why are you crying? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. And she says, you know, my daughter asked me if we could go to the beach and I had to tell her no, that mama couldn't drive her to the beach anymore because mama couldn't see. And it tore me up because I've lived this way my whole life. She hasn't. Yeah. And I've had people criticize me. Oh, you don't know what it's like to be able to see. So how can you help somebody that's losing their vision? No, I know what it's like not being able to see. Right. So I can guide them through that journey. I can guide them on that journey. And to give you a better perspective of it, I had a friend that I went to high school with. Um, she's actually a friend of mine and my sister's. And uh, she, was, she was actually in my sister's class. Um, my sister graduated in 96. I graduated in 99. So when I was in the ninth grade, she was in the 12th grade. And this girl um, follow, uh, follows me on Facebook. And so I'm in Facebook Messenger reading my messages one night. And it's a Thursday evening. And I see a message from my friend, from, from, my, from uh, our mutual friend, mine and my sister. Mm -hmm. And she says, dear RJ, I remember it like it was yesterday. She said, Dear RJ, I don't know who to turn to, but I went to the I went to the eye doctor today and I found out I'm losing my vision in my right eye and I'm losing my partial vision in my left eye. And I know you can give me hope because I used to see you walk down the hallway with your cane. And you were so confident in yourself. You were very confident. And I knew that you would be the only person I could turn to. Please, can you help me? I'm scared. Yeah. And I immediately called her up. And she told me what the eye doctor had told her. And I told her. I said... There's nothing to be afraid of. It's not the end of the world for you. You can still do things that you used to do. You can still um, have, you know, have fun with your son. Because she had a son. And I got the phone number for the Florida Division of Blind Services. They help blind people. And I messaged her their phone number. The next day, which was Friday, she gets up, eats breakfast. At 9 o'clock that morning, she calls them. They go out to her house that following Monday. Help her fill out the application because she still had some vision left. So she could read large print. And by week's end, they were training her. Wow. And she would she would message me and say, RJ, 
this is what I learned today. This is what I learned how to do in, in orientation and mobility, or this is what I learned to do with the cane or whatever. And I was so proud. I was so proud. That's great. You see, and that's the thing when people, and I, I, I believe I have a video on my channel about that. Um, I, I believe I do. I'm not sure. I have to check, but, um, because I know I recorded one. I don't know if I uploaded it or not, but suffice it to say this. Um, if somebody tells you that they're going blind, the best thing you can do for them is listen to them because it's a grieving process. It's like when someone dies, you lose, you lose a family member. What do you want? You want companionship. You want someone to listen to you, right? So what better way if someone tells you, hey, I'm losing my vision. I'm scared. The best thing for you to do is listen to them. And then not only listen to them, but help them find resources about blindness so they can learn how to adjust to the new life that they're going to be living. And like my like my other friends, you know, it's um, sometimes the person might call you and just start crying or start feeling kind of down and be like, you know, I wish I could go to the ball game like I used to. You know, I mean, it, it's hard. Yeah. Me, I, I, me, I haven't had to deal with that. I haven't had to deal with losing my vision. But people that have, they know they have a friend that they can turn to. That's good you to know. just call out my name. And you know wherever I am. Yeah. That's a good song, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, definitely, you, you're definitely an inspiration. You definitely are, Jay. I want to tell you something, something I, I want to share with you. All right. I have, I, you know, I, I, I've never really spoken about this because I really never had a, a reason to speak about it. But mm -hmm. when I was, and this is why you touched me. Okay. Because it stems back from my childhood. I was mm -hmm. about maybe eight, nine years old. When I grew up in Newark, we lived right next door to a school, which was directly right next door to us. And mm -hmm. we referred to it as the crippled children's school. You know, we were kids. And, um, you know, at three o'clock in the afternoon, the kids would get out of school. The bus, the yellow buses would come in front of my house and in front of the school. Mm -hmm. And the kids that came out, they, you know, some of them were, uh, came out in metal crutches who came out in wheelchairs who came out with special helmets on because they had neurological problems mm -hmm. who was blind and was let out by the teachers it was a school for handicapped and this and children that had disabilities of mm -hmm. course i was young and at that time we lived on the second floor in our living room window uh when you looked out our window you know you could see the whole street in the school and mm -hmm. at three o'clock when i was little I would look out the window and I watched the kids would all come down the ramp and go into the bus. And my mom would be next to me and she would just say, you know, gee, that's a shame. What a shame. That's, that's a shame. And it impressed me so much because these kids could not do the things that I could do. They couldn't mm. play. They, they, they just couldn't do it because they were, they were handicapped. Mm -hmm. And I witnessed that for 10 years, for 10 mm. years, from the age of nine, to the age of 19 till I left my home there and it left a, it left an impression upon me and it made me feel sorry for people who were like that and that's why when I saw you on Angel show it just brought back it just <laughs> yeah I know it it, 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 memories. it does it really does and that, that's the thing is you know, like I have a friend that is, um, that can't walk and he is in a wheelchair. He's like those kids that you were telling me about just now. Um, just imagine being three years old and you had this blind kid and this kid in a wheelchair and the kid in the wheelchair is pushing the blind, you know. The, the blind kid's trying to push the, the kid in the wheelchair around. Wow. And they'd be like, okay, RJ, turn left. Okay, RJ, go straight. 
and he and he would and he would you know but then he got to the point where he could steer himself and he would say okay RJ hold on to the back of my wheelchair I'll take you somewhere and keep in mind we were three years old so two three year olds just you know three or four years old just walking just walking around the classroom and me and this dude we we've always stayed in touch. We never lost touch with each other. And um I, well, except when I was in the blind school, then then um you know, I couldn't write him, but um and you know, I only spent 2 years at the school for the blind uh in Florida, the the Florida School for the Deaf and Blind. But then I came back and then I went through school um High school, college, un, uh, university, and then uh, I studied theology for the seminary, for the Baptist seminary. And I did preaching for 11 years. So, I mean, you know, I've, I've done it. I've done a lot. I've done a lot. And I really get, I really get sick and tired when people say, and um, this happened when I was a, kid too oh well this blind person did this why can't you do this and i'm like that's not what god called me to do that's not what god wants me to do did you have many obstacles growing up because the obstacles that you had you probably most likely overcame obviously um well in in that in that vein, I'll say this. Um, I didn't have a lot of things that were obstacles, okay? Because um, my dad was ex-military. He did go into the military, went into the army, um, and he was stationed in Germany. Now, this is before I was born. So he had that military background. And my dad, when he found out I was blind, you, you know how some you know how some parents they will shelter their kids. Yeah. I mean, I was sheltered not because I was blind. I was just, um, it was more or less, you know, it was back in the eighties, and certain things you didn't talk about, you know, like, um he's gay or she's gay or whatever that's that was just us i you know because i'm from the south of course i'm from south florida so we didn't you know i was right raised in your typical white family you know southern family and you know we we especially my dad and my grandmother and mother we, you know, it was yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir, and please and thank you. I mean, we were taught to show respect, and um, so every Saturday morning, my dad would knock on my door, um, or he would just walk into my bedroom, he would say, RJ. I want you to get up. I want you to get dressed. I want you to go eat breakfast. And I will see you out in my shop by nine. Is that understood? You are sanding cars today. Yes, sir. And that was every week. That was every weekend. And I remember one day, um, my dad and I was out there, and this guy walks into the shop and says, your son's blind. What's he doing standing in the car? And my dad stopped what he was doing, and he said, what, you want my son to feel sorry for himself and sit, sit around and do nothing? He goes, no. He goes, I'm teaching my son the value of being honest and the value of work. You have to work for what you want. 
Well, I can definitely, I can definitely tell you're an honest and sincere individual. Thank you, thank you. I try to, I try to be as honest as I can, and I try to treat people right. Yeah, have I made, have I made some mistakes on YouTube before? Yes, I have. Oh, uh, well, YouTube is something else. I mean, RJ, I mean, you could tell by your personality. It, it shines in your personality. Right. It shines in your personality. I don't like, you know, I don't like. I, like when I when when I first um, got out of elementary school, and this is how sheltered I was. Okay, I didn't hear any cursing from kids until I got into middle school. I, you know, I mean, that's that's, and even then, and even then, I didn't, I did not join in. Um, I remember there was an incident. When I was in elementary school, and um, the sixth grade was in this elementary school, and so um, we had to take Dare, um, day, uh, D-A-R-E, Dare. Yeah, dear. yeah, we know. And that. it was yeah, and so one day our Dare officer came in along with the principal, <coughs> and. The dare officer walks over to me and says, "Hey, RJ, um, we need to ask some questions." And I'm like, "Okay, what's up? Did you did anyone offer you alcohol or liquor?" I'm like, "No, ma'am. Um, I would not have taken any alcohol or liquor because if my if my dad found out, I probably would have got a whipping. I probably would have got spanked." And back then, you could spank your kids. You you could use corporal punishment. Um, and so I told my dad. I, I I went home and told my dad what happened. That what happened at school. And he's like, "Well, did you take a drink of it?" I'm like, "No, sir." He goes, "I'm proud of you, son." He said, "I'm proud of you, son, because if you would have." I would have been disappointed because you don't need that. And you don't need to hang around people that do that. I'm like, you know, I wouldn't do that, dad. And that, you know, people would try to say, Hey, you know, RJ, do you want to go to a party Saturday night? No. Like I was the kid that was always making A's and B's and C's. I, you know, I was that, I was the studious kid. I would not go to parties. I would not go to the mall. I wouldn't do any of that stuff. Okay. I would, I would, um, I would, uh, for high school, I had to get up at 5.30 a.m., be on the bus at 6.30 a.m., and be in my first period class at 7.02 a.m. I would get out of school at 2.05 p.m., be, at, be home by 2.30 p.m., and from 2.30 p.m. until midnight, I was doing homework. Wow. And just imagine Braille, everything being in Braille... It's not just one book. It's two or three or four books. Especially with it being algebra, algebraic equations. Just imagine all the Braille paper you had to use. For one problem would take a half a page of Braille paper. And if you screwed that problem up, you had to use a whole different sheet of Braille paper, a whole clean sheet of Braille paper, and put it back in there into the Braille writer and type it over again. They didn't have all the computers that we have now. So there was no, okay, is this right? You had to trust your gut. And since I'm not good at math, you know, and I had to have, yeah, yeah, I had to have help. But that's how it was back then, you know? And then, Fast forward to when I graduated to college, um, I went through IR, you know, through the K 
community college, and then I went to university. Well, when I went to university, um, it was a whole different culture because I was used to reading everything in Braille and or getting it on tape. Well, I had went to the disabilities office and said to uh, to uh, disability student services and said, "Hey, could you put this into Braille for me?" No. You can learn to use a flatbed scanner to scan your documents. I said, "What?" Yeah, you could. Yeah. 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 And yeah. see, that's the thing. I didn't know about that. See how quickly the technology changed. Uh, technology is constantly advancing. I it's, mean, look, look, I at mean computer, look at your computer. It talks to yeah, you. In the yeah. chat. The chat talks to you through your computer. Yeah. You know. We'll see. We'll see. And back and now, like, I remember being in I remember being in in um college. The infancy of the well, the internet had been around since what, 93, 94? But I didn't start using the internet until 2000. Late 99, early 2000. That's when I got my first home computer. Yeah, I you think that's it? when I got my 98. The, the internet was 90, 98. Uh, yeah. 97, 98. And it really. But I mean, what I'm saying is, it's like, I, you know, I, I had, I had a working knowledge of like what an email was i mean but i did not know what a chat room was until 2003 2002 2003 what made you decide to well first of all i want to tell you that since you've been on angel's show uh -huh. you, you've made a lot of friends uh-huh you you've you're and i call them listeners i don't call them subs your your listener base has increased yeah. You've met a lot of people. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so it's everything was meant to be. I mean, uh, right, right. Jay, everything was meant to be. I mean, how did what made you decide to, to become a content creator? <laughs> oh, my God. That was it was it was, really, it, it was really weird because, well, it was really weird because Wait, before, that, you answer, before you answer that, hold on a second. I got interrupted for a second oh because God. I have to say hello to everybody in the parlor. I call the chat the parlor on a Sunday night. All right. All right. And I haven't said hello to anybody. Then we'll go back to that. So right. hello to Adam. Adam is here. Patty, Angel Gotti. Hello, Angel. Don, Don, Don Machu is here. Adam is here. Tammy's here. Ella Chain puts. Tammy C. Who else is here? Um, and Pain Like Bane. Big Bones. Hello. Maureen. Hi, hon. Um, Christopher Toro is here. And we have your friend, I believe. I just saw him. Where is he? I saw him. Oh, Crazy Kid 949? Oh, he's, yeah, here? he's here? Yeah, he's here. Oh, okay, he's okay. I, I, wa I wasn't... Yeah, because um, I know I did that live this morning, and I believe Crazy Kid was with his parents at that time, or he was either asleep. But um, back to what I was saying, it was really weird. Um how I started out on YouTube because um, back then it was 2018. Now, I haven't always had this channel. I had another channel back then, um, but I shut it down. But it, at any rate, um, how it started was um, my nephew, who is... Um, 17 now he started streaming his games because he he has a playstation and an xbox well he started streaming his games and then he's like oh try this new thing it's called hangouts on air so i tried it out and i'm like oh i don't have a camera he goes oh you don't need a camera i'm like okay so i made my first audio youtube video basically and then i deleted that channel um you know I'll, like a lot of my other channels that i had you know 
you know, I, I really wasn't as gung ho about it. I don't think as I am now. And now it's like, okay, I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm okay with it now. Um, so basically this one, um, the, this channel here, um, came out of, okay, this is, this is it. You know, if I can get this channel to 100,000 subscribers, um, I'll be able to, sh you know, help other people. I'll be able to show people that they can do, you know, that they can do this, right? Even RJ, RJ, let me say this to you. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what your goals are, but as long as you do a show and you convey positivity, don't worry about the numbers so much. The numbers will come to you if that's what you're, you well, know. Well, and you're I know that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that's, that was my thought pattern back then. Because with me, I don't, you know, I, listen, I could have five listeners. I could have yeah. five listeners or yeah. no listeners. I would still well, do a show well, even if I didn't have any listeners because I would do it for the fun and for my children. Right, right, right. But, but that was my, that was my, that was my thought process back then. I was still kind of, you know, worried about numbers and stuff. We got, your, we got huh? your friend on here. I don't mean to cut you over. We got your friend on here. He's on Crazy Kids on with us. Hey. Oh, hey, Crazy Kid. How you doing, buddy? Hey, man. Um, but, but yeah, so so basically, um, and Crazy Kid can tell you, it. there have been times where I've only had two people in my chats. Yeah. I and I, and I, treat them, I treat them just the same as I would if I had 100 or 1,000. I mean, it, but back then, you know, the, the reason why the 100,000 is such a big deal to me is because it's a challenge. I like to, I like to challenge myself. You know what I mean? Like, that's great. That's it's great. More of a, can I do this? Because I have a friend of mine and crazy kid, you know who I'm talking about. Um, she's Filipino. She has 200,000 subscribers. And I was, you know, I was, you know, talking to her one day and I said, you know what my goal is? I, I want to get to 100,000 subscribers like you. And she said, you know what? I believe you can get there. You just have to work hard. Yep. Anything's possible. And you don't need, you don't need a thousand. You, uh, RJ, you don't need a thousand uh, listeners now. It's, it dropped it down to 500. Well, no, Five. no, 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 no. Um, I'm talking about for the silver play button. You need a hundred thousand. Oh, okay. okay. Because yeah, I yeah. want to get the I want to get the silver play button to show people that yes, I am able to do this. Trophy. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a plaque. Well, I know you're able to do it. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, yeah but you've but, proven that to us, you know. Well, yeah. Your inspiration, you know. Yeah, big time. Oh yeah. And like I but, said, they dropped down the requirements, so now it's five hundred listeners and four thousand, uh, three thousand watch hours. Well, that's for that's for. Well, actually, that's for partial monetization, yeah. because that will give you super chats, super thanks, super stickers, membership, and the shopping feature. Yes, you're right. In order for you to get the ads revenue, you still have to meet the the 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 watch hours. Okay. Yeah, that's that's where I think that's where people that's where people are messing up. Is I, well, you I I messed up on that because you just you just taught me something. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> and and really and really, it's it it's. A lot of people say, oh, it's hard. It's hard. Actually, the previous channel I had, I had 1,000 subscribers and 3,000 watch hours. I was almost there, and I did something in my studio. I did something in my YouTube studio, and for the life of me, I don't know what in the world I did, but I accidentally deleted my channel. Boom. It it was gone. I was like, oh, crap. So I got to start from all over again. So basically what I did, I said, you know what? I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm going to start over. And here I am. 
Yeah. 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 Rocking like, like a hurricane. That's just another thing on the list of things that I say RJ is one of the most inspirational people that I've ever met. Not in person, but I've ever met even online. Mm-hmm. Is because, number one, he's doing a visual platform without vision. He has started and accidentally deleted a couple channels and had to start all over again. So he's got the determination to strive mm-hmm. forward and try and do what he can mm-hmm. to achieve his goals. If that mm-hmm. doesn't give you inspiration, I don't know what will. No. No. Well, no. actually, actually, crazy kid, and you can you could probably vouch for this. Even even to P, uh, our friend P, from from the Philippines, even she she has told me, RJ, you inspire me, and I'm yeah. like, I am, I don't, you inspire me. Yeah. You know, it's like she. You know, she even she even um, had a guest on her show that was visually impaired, and she actually she actually wrote me privately and said, "Hey, RJ, I you know I hope you like this video." And she was telling me what the video was about, and she did a really good job. She did not like when she made that bit. You know the video about Doug Crazy Kid, yep. the, the blind guy Doug. She did not make it um, a video where she felt sorry for him or anything like that. She she portrayed him in a positive light. Oh yeah, Louis. You know, yeah. so that's that's why I was I was happy about we that. Have video. A lot of pe- we have a lot of people in the chat, RJ, that I believe are from your show, Conservative Colin, and uh, Top. That looks like Top Gill. So, so these yeah. people have come over to watch watch my show. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate that, guys. Crazy awesome. kid, do you do you help? Do you help? Um, are you like a co-host for RJ? Do you? Because I noticed that you've been on a lot of his shows. Uh, we're just we're just you know good friends, like on like good YouTube friends. Oh, that's um, nice. And uh, you know, R- RJ likes my sense of humor. I like his sense of humor. Uh, we bounce off each other quite, quite, you know, quite often yep. and we just have a whole lot of fun and it kind of lines up with, you know, what my channel is all about is all about fun, having fun. You know, Excellent. I tell jokes, um, I, all my stand up routines are my own, uh, personal experiences mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, like I go on RJ's channel and. You know, he does, you know, a lot of inspirational stuff. And I try to, you know, bump in a little bit of the humor. And, yep, uh, he does a good job. <laughs> RJ tries to keep getting me to uh, constantly uh, re- re- redo uh, uh, some of the stories that I have on my channel. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> funny. I just, I, I love them. And, and <laughs> that story that Adam told last night, oh, my God, I can't wait. I can't wait to try that joke on my sister about the FDA joke. I missed that. I missed that. I, I oh, my God. Show. I watched a little bit of Angel's show, and I fell asleep. <laughs> Sorry, Angel. <laughs> yeah, apparently it was before we really got going. Mm. Yeah, I'll have to go watch it. Go back and watch it. Oh, my God. And, and um, Crazy Kid, I'm sorry about last night because I had to go to bed because I know you had to go to I, I know you had to go smoke. But I had to go to bed because I felt dead tired. Yeah. So I'm sure when you came back, you were like, where the heck's RJ? Yeah, I was like, you know, like, did I smoke RJ out of the building? <laughs> <laughs> Angel does long shows. So, yeah. how, so yeah. how, how long did you stay on there after I left? I was on there until about 1.30 in the morning almost. She oh, does dang. marathon. Angel does marathons. <laughs> oh, I can't Lord. do it. I can't do a oh, yeah. show that long. Mm. Yeah, no. there was... Um, um, uh, that lawyer. Had a lot of people. Yeah, she had a lot of people on the channel yeah. list on her a panel rather. There was us, eight of us on there at one point. Yeah. Oh dang. Yeah. Yeah. Like there was the lawyer. There was the rabbi. Uh, yeah. There was uh, you, me, uh, Angel, her good friend there. That was the, basically right from the beginning. I, Marla. I other, yeah, Marie. That's Marla, I think. Marla? Marla yeah, Marla. Marla that's, yeah. Marla's Marla, always yeah. on her. That's her sidekick. Yeah, and then um, there was 
some other dude that showed up, he he bugged off for a little while, and then some other dude showed up, and then uh, about Tony Siler was Tony Siler was on, wasn't he? Uh, I think he was on after I left. Okay. Um, hello, Louis uh, Noir. How are you, buddy? American mate, how are you? I'm saying hello to all my. I got a few people here from uh, from my show too. Like I, I restreamed it because you have a channel, right, Crazy Kid? Yes, I do. So some uh, Adam or some of the guys that are, that are in the chat that have wrenches because I haven't given all the wrenches back. I haven't had a time to do that. Can you drop uh, Crazy Kids and uh, RJ's channel? In, yeah, in the chat, please. Hey, uh, there's a thing you can get that will automatically do that for you. It's called Nightbot. Yeah, hey, just set up a, a keyword like RJ. Uh, we got it. We got to work on RJ's. Uh, he wants to put his at a sand. Mine is nine four nine. So when you type nine four nine in the chat, Nightbot will automatically drop your link and give you a oh, let's be friends. You know. Yeah, but the, I don't have Nightbot. No, but you it, it's free to get and. Uh, okay, uh, so I have to get Nightbot to do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You I have, just I have to... a video on my channel. I, uh, I think I, I think I have a video on my channel on how to get it, like where I got it and whatever, like that. So, yeah, yeah you got Nightbot here. Would you? Would you? Um... Nightbot. Uh, oh no, that was that's on my channel. <laughs> no, no, uh, not, it, yeah, it's uh, yeah, you're it's great, you're crazy. That's your channel. <laughs> it's uh, Nightbot TV, but um, yeah. Ralph, would you mind if I streamed this, or are we getting ready to end? Uh... Do, do I mind if what? Um, do you mind if I stream this? If I restream this? No, not at all. All right. I already man. hit no. the button and I got like four people. <laughs> no, not at all. No, not at Alrighty. all. All righty. Oh. I want I want to I want to get Ralph's channel over into my channel and uh, Oh yeah. You know, introduce Ralph to cuz from the, the 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 couple times that I've actually seen his videos and and uh seen him uh you know, interact in the uh, chats and stuff like that. I think Ralph is a great guy. I'd like to actually sit down, uh, and have a, sit down, and work down at a coffee shop and have a, have a coffee with him sometime. But I could, I could, crazy kid, I could see you and I'd be sitting in the coffee shop BSing over coffee. I could oh, definitely yeah. see that. You remind me of, of a friend, a, a, fr a lifelong friend that I have. You look like him too. Give me that, give me that, uh, if you don't mind, what is it, Nightbot? What's it called? Nightbot, Nightbot? TV. Nightbot. Dot TV. Dot TV? Okay. Yep. Is that... It's so much easier. You don't have to hand out wrenches. You just, you know, just tell people, listen, do this, and you're, you'll drop your link. So I have to put codes in, right? Yeah. Okay. There's a video. Like, if you just type in Nightbot on uh, the search for, on on a YouTube, like, on your YouTube when you're searching for a video. Yeah. Type in Nightbot, and then there's a video. You, you get the list of videos that... Uh, says all about Nightbot, and there's one video. I can't remember who did it. There's one video. This guy here does it. Hello, everyone. It's so easy to, to, to set it up. You know, I just I'm being interviewed by Wise Up perfect. Show. Okay, so uh, is I noticed that on RJ's show, there was a Nightbot that came in and did the weather. Yep. Yeah, you can set it up to do the weather. You can set it up to do... Uh, you know the news. You can set it up. Yeah, you can set it up to do all kinds of different things. But I just okay, look set it up for channel channel uh, identification. That's it. It's vi it's virus free, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a website basically. Yeah. Okay, I know, I know. That's good to know. That's good to know. So, so, okay. so, um, so you asked me how I got into YouTube. Yes. Um, Tell well, me. like I like I said, um, it was my nephew Zach, um, that got me into it. And I've never looked back. Um, there have been times where I where I've gotten into some uh, drama. Unfortunately, that happens. But you know, I'm past that now, and my channel's growing. And I want to thank you all for uh, coming to my channel and and subscribing to my channel. I have 205 subs uh, uh, subscribers right now. And I thank y'all for that. I really thank y'all for that. Thank That's you for great. the support. Um, and look, guys, I know people have asked me, well, what about getting paid? And this is the way I look at that. Um, I believe that your audience should trust you first. 
they should trust you first. Because if they don't trust the content creator, what would make you think that they would want to pay them? Yep. Okay. That's so true. That's I true. believe yeah. that if you if, if you want people, people if you want people to pay you, you have to earn their trust. So my thing is this, you know, yes, when I get to 500 subscribers, when I get 300 watch hours, am I going to monetize? Of course I will. But during that time, while I'm reaching that goal, I'm going to do my part to earn everybody's trust and to keep it. Because if you don't earn people's trust, then you're not going to grow. Um, and if you treat people like dirt, they're not going to stick around. So that's the reason why, yeah, even um, it might take me a little while to read the chat. But like, you know, this morning I was saying, hi, Ralph. Hi, Tommy. Hi, so-and-so. How are you doing? You know, and another thing, too, I always try to comment on people's videos. Or I always try to reply to people's comments because it's the respectful thing to do. RJ. Yes, sir. Listeners can tell. Basically, they're not stupid. They can tell if you're BS or not. They can tell if you're a phony. Yeah. Now, I have to tell you that the, the, my colleagues that I'm involved in, I call them colleagues that, that I'm right, involved right. with, we, the ones that have shows, mm -hmm. our shows are drama free. We, our shows are very relaxed. They're, right. They're, they're very, they're, they're drama free. We mm -hmm. get around and, and joke with one another. Oh, yeah. Um, all the shows, and we have great listeners. They're all respectful. Mm -hmm. um, you, you couldn't ask for a, a better bunch of listeners that, that we had. I'm fortunate enough because the listeners that I inherited, most of the, the listeners from the the, the other shows. Mm -hmm. So I, I was very fortunate to, yeah. to have the same listeners that everybody else has. So right. I just want you to know that, uh, you know, that's that's where we're coming from. We don't we don't we don't indulge in any drama. Uh, there's enough there's enough drama and enough stress off of YouTube. Why do you want to go on YouTube yeah. and have that? You want to go on YouTube for two things. You want to learn something and you mm -hmm. want to have a good time and laugh. Well, yeah. yeah. You know, simple as that. Hi, J hi, J uh, JJ. How are you? Hey, Tammy. Huh? Well, Tammy C says, uh, "Have a great night, Ralph." RJ Crazy. Oh, Tammy. Have a great night, hon. Thank you for coming in. I'll see you soon, hon. Thank you, Tammy. Tammy uh, has is starting her own channel with uh, uh, Bambi. So they're gonna have they're gonna do their, their own channel. But that's the you know the people that I'm involved in, and now you're involved. Now you two are involved. You two are involved. I appreciate. But you that. couldn't ask. You know, you really guys, you really couldn't ask for a better community. Oh um, yeah. You know. The way I am here on, on YouTube right now, the way you see me, this is the way I'm off YouTube. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The, I wouldn't even know how to come on here and be a phony. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you, I wouldn't know how to do it. You know, so I'm just, you know, I'm just me. And people will pick up on that. And I, I, you, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Crazy Kid. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say something after you got done talking. I was going to say that uh, you could tell that RJ is sincere and honest. You could tell, you know, mm -hmm. and... You know, just keep conveying that positivity, and that's the best thing that we could do is con convey positivity. Yeah, I used to get asked all the time when I was working, because uh, like I'm, you know, this way all the, I'm like this 100 percent of the time. Like if you don't, if you don't see me, you know, having fun, you know, making fun of something, you know, casting a joke about you know something stupid that just happened, then you know that I'm not feeling very well. That's one one key thing, you know. I'm on my I'm almost on my deathbed if I'm not joking around or you know trying to get somebody to laugh or something like that. And I used to get asked all the time at work, "Are you like this at home?" It was like, "Do you actually think that I would put on a show for you and then go home and be like, be gone from me?" No, that's not. I I don't put on a show for nobody. This is me 100 percent of the time. You know, like I. I wait. I, I I dream funny stuff. <laughs> I can't stop thinking funny stuff, and because I got no filter, I can't stop saying it. Because it goes from here down the water slide, note the gaping hole in my face. A lot of times, faster than I can stop it. 
Um, let me see something here. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. I'm trying to, I can't, you know, something I, I cannot, nobody, you know, apparently. Hey, coach. Apparently only one person in my chat. See, I, I took all the wrenches away a couple months ago and I started to give them back, but it doesn't look like anybody is in the chat who has a wrench to uh to drop your links hey Let's andy see. heinrich i appreciate you stopping by that's very nice of you uh just because of the way the youtube algorithm works you know like when somebody likes your video it gets sent out to seven more people i just got a a, a new person come in saying uh uh just popped in to see what's happening you were a youtube suggestion and you see that's what that's what happens when uh you hit the light it gets your your message gets sent out further and further and further. yeah right? yeah because every one like youtube sends out seven more to people that may not have gotten your content and it may reach some people that may find the content that you're creating enjoyable educational worthy of checking into or worthy of supporting by subscribing or, you know, if you ever get into the monetization, you know, in the chats to hitting the super thanks, hitting the super stickers and all the fancy stuff and whatever. That's that's the power of the like. Crazy kid, how long have you had your channel? Uh, June 20th last year. But I've had a couple, like in the, in the fall, in the springtime, my health goes like, wild because here in canada where i'm at the weather goes up and down like a damn zipper and I, yeah. my migraines just start pulling me apart feel like i'm being you know like imploded and exploded at the same time and I, i'm in a lot of pain a lot of times in the spring and uh -huh. so you're over a year yeah just a little over a year you're over a year you know are you monetized or no <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Not yet. I'm close on the subs on the sub count, but I am so far away. Yeah, but YouTube takes money. Out. You have a crazy kid. YouTube takes most of the money. It, it don't matter. It Any little bit money. extra more money that I get, that's great. And then you have to claim it at the end of the uh, at income tax. Well, for the they'll well, take thirty percent, and then the government will take thirty percent of what's left over. I'll be I'll be still left with forty percent. Extra yeah, the um, I, I think the, the that's the ad revenue, and yeah. then the, um, yeah, because I because I ad know in Canada, it, it's a fifty five forty five split in your yeah favor. yeah, uh, but uh, YouTube thanks is all that other. You know, like the ads or not AdSense, but the Google Pay stuff. Mm -hmm. That's seventy thirty. You get you get seventy percent. They get thirty. Mm. Okay, uh, hold on a second, Christopher and JJ. I just gave you wrenches. If you're still in the chat, so if you can, if you don't mind dropping uh, RJ's channel and uh, Crazy Kids channel, I really would appreciate it. I'll see if I can give a few more wrenches who's in here. I just figured it out. Hey, um, Andy, I'm in uh, I'm in between Windsor and London, <laughs> Ontario. Yep. I don't know if they're still here. It's really uh, weird because you know I'm in Florida, where it's hot as hell, and then he's up in Canada, and it's still hot as hell right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you it's hot down right? here. Oof. Yeah. You in uh, New York? I'm in New Jersey, but New Jersey, close. Yeah, New Jersey, but see, when you live in New Jersey, we have all kinds of weather. You could live in any part of the state, any yeah. state. Mm. But it's been so humid every single day since summer started, which was June 21st. Every single day has been humid, yeah. and usually it's the month of August here in New Jersey that's very humid. But it's been terribly humid. I mean, since summer started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and then we'll be, you know, and then when when the winter comes, we'll be complaining about the cold. Yeah. You know, there's no happy medium, you know. But I know it's, it gets cold up there, Canada. Well, actually, I'm pretty much on the same parallel as you. Uh, uh, RJ, Christopher Toro is telling you to make a comment. 
I, I think he's talking about writing something in the chat. If you can, I don't know. I think that's what he's talking about. Mm. If you if you can do that, I don't oh, know if you can. Probably so that he can uh, get your uh, channel link. Yeah, hold up. Oh crap! Because I, I just gave out some uh, wrenches. Oh okay, hold up. So they, so I could drop your links. All right. Crazy now, crazy kid. Do you do, you do a show? Uh, do you have a, a a schedule or like uh, RJ? I, I tried to uh, make a, like I tried to make a schedule, but when you know, like when I get migraines, I got to retreat to a silent dark room. Uh, okay. But normally, if I if I can, it's usually Monday nights at eight o'clock. Okay. And uh, that's that's generally when uh, when I go on. And if I, you know, if I'm not able to, uh, you know, go uh, go live because of you know being in a whole lot of pain, like it's really hard to be funny when you're in a lot of pain. Do you get bad migraines? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Have you ever considered Botox? Um, I've considered a lot of things. Uh, my doctors have tried a lot of different medications, and they're like, you know, we can't figure it out. Figure out what's going to help you. Like they tried, uh, I think it was uh, seventeen different kinds of uh, med medications. They tried nine different uh, homeopathic medi uh, medicines. Uh, they tried a whole bunch of stuff, and I was still getting migraines, like strong migraines, like where I could feel my toenails growing. Oh my god! I'm sorry. Like, you know, you just got to find something that's going to work for you. You got to, you know. That's why my apartment is like, you know, dull and dim and dark. Mm. And my glasses are dark. So this way here I can, you know, it helps me last longer <laughs> for the day, you know. Do they, do they last long when you have them? Uh, if I can catch migraine before it gets too, too bad, like jump in, jump in my, my blackout room and just kind of lay there and just kind of mellow out. Mm. And you know, take a couple Tylenol and Advil. You know, mm. Date the date the pill sisters, and off I go. Take a nap for about an hour or so, and I could you know, sometimes it, it, it takes it away, and I can go back to doing what I'm doing for a little while. Mm. And you know, sometimes it's it's just like reoccurring, it's four or five in a day. Thank you, excuse me. Thank you, Christopher. I appreciate appreciate that. Christopher Toro dropped your link, crazy kid. Now, if you could drop RJ's. Link, I would really appreciate that too. Thank you, Christopher. And uh, I'll I'll, I'll uh, become one of your listeners, crazy kid. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, no, no problem. The one, the one video that I'm the most proud of, and I, you know, you know, you always got that one that you're really, really, really proud of. The one video that I'm really proud of is um, a true, and all my stories are true stories. Is um, Adventures to Adventures of House Sitting mm. remastered. And it's a story about me house sitting for my brother after he got broke into. And I did something really funny, just like drop of a hat kind of thing. And how long is the video? Uh, I think it's about 15 minutes. Okay. I'll definitely check it out. It's on your channel, it's on my channel. It's in my uh, comedy list. I have another list that's um, uh, for people who want to uh, uh, learn how to do video editing with free software. So I did that for you know a, a friend of mine who wanted to learn, but you know. Uh, let's see here. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? It is oh, it's seven seven minutes and forty one seconds long. Mm. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, RJ Adam is saying that you need to type something into the chat so we can drop your link. I thought I just did. He did, Adam. Can you? Yeah, scroll up. You'll see. Uh, he typed in hello. Oh yeah, he, he typed in hello and what's up. Adam, if you scroll up, you'll see that RJ said uh, hello and what's up. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. He did. Uh, 
Okay, Christopher did drop uh, RJ's link. It's in there. Okay. It's in there. Okay, JJ, I gave you, uh, I gave yeah. you a wrench too. So, what are your plans for the future, RJ? You're going to continue to your, with your channel, right? Yeah, well, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on uh, continuing with my channel, and um, if everything works out okay, um, if everything works out right, like I hope, like we're hoping it will, because um, my singing has actually produce some good results um i uh was singing in front of a thousand people uh in may for the special olympics opening ceremonies mm -hmm. and uh the president of the tampa bay buccaneers was there and he was one of the first speakers after i sang and he got up and said hey how about that national anthem and everybody went wild so after the opening ceremonies were over, uh, he came up to myself and my brother-in-law, reached in his pocket, handed my brother-in-law his business card. This is the president of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hands my brother-in-law his business card and says, we might have him at a Buccaneers football game to sing the national anthem for us. What do you think of that? I think that's that's I, fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think it's fantastic. So uh, that I mean, not only would that give, I mean, I mean, heck, the NFL practically broadcasts all their games on national TV, really internationally. If you watch it on YouTube, so imagine or or any other streaming platform. So imagine. You're watching a Tampa Bay Buccaneers base or football game, and you hear, Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? And you think, Hey, I remember that dude. That's that dude on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, don't ever give up singing, my friend. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. Never give up singing. I, uh, you know, and I'm glad, I'm glad people are telling me that because for a few years, I would not sing. I would not sing this before I started on YouTube. And because see, when I was a kid, when I was 14 years old, me, my dad and my sister, we formed a karaoke group and it was the RJs and we would go to different places, to different places and sing. And they would pay us. And we got out of it for a few years. And you know how life is. Well, you know. Yeah. It just, you know, things happen. So basically what happened was um, my dad died. My mom died 10 years later. And I was like, okay, um, well, I guess... This is life now. And then all of a sudden, these singing opportunities come. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not stopping. I'm, I'm going to keep going with this. And people have asked me, well, RJ, have you thought about writing a novel or writing a book? And I'm like, yeah. I've not thought about it. I'm toying around with the idea. RJ, do you have someone that helps you during the day? Um, yes. Yeah, my, my family, uh, my, my brother-in-law, um, works for people with disabilities. Yeah. So, um, actually he gets, um, it's a, it's a special program that I'm involved in that, you know, um, since he is family, he can actually work with me and the state pays him. They pay him. Uh, hold, on, hold on a second. RJ. Louis, Louis, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, uh, my prayers are with you. Uh, I'm just reading something that Louis wrote in the chat. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Louis, is, Louis comes from Angel's show. Uh. And uh, if, if you 
you know, if you don't feel good, go ahead, go go lay down and rest. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead, RJ. So actually, what happens is, um, it's a special program that is in the state of Florida, um, that is called Consumer Directed Care Plus, and it's where the consumer, which is me, can hire a family member to help them out. And the state pays for it. It's for people with disabilities. And so I told them, you know, hey, I want my brother-in-law to do it. And it, that's it's been that way ever since. So um, my brother-in-law... You know, my brother-in-law and I, we could sit home and watch TV or we could go shopping or we could go to the beach or we could go bowling or we could go wherever. And we, you know, have fun doing it and, and it's, a, it's a good thing. So, but despite all my challenges that I go through, I don't let it get me down. Please don't. I don't. Please I don't, don't. Let me get down because, because I'm going to tell you. Because I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Are there times where I feel where I feel drained? Yes. But you know what? I think of people. You know, I think of the one inspiration on YouTube uh, that I find truly inspirational, and Crazy Kid knows who that is. Isn't that right, crazy kid? Yeah, Filipina P. <laughs> yep, the Filipina P. She, I mean, this this girl came from ab from abject poverty, <laughs> poor a poor family in the Philippines, <coughs> went to college, <coughs> put herself through college. I mean, basically worked, put herself through college and worked a few jobs. Then when the pandemic hit, you know, everything closed down. Well, she just didn't want to sit at home and do nothing all day. So she created a YouTube channel in May of 2020. No, it was. Uh, oh, yeah, it was May 20. Yep. yep. May 2020. Yep. May 9th. I can actually tell you the precise date. May 9th, 2020 was when the Filipino piece started. And now it's 2023. Yep. She's been around for three years. Yep. And I remember just like Crazy Kid when she first started, when she first um, started uploading videos. Is she the one that has two hundred thousand listeners? Yep, two hundred thirty-nine thousand. I checked. I checked. Wow, that. how many people does she have in her chat at the same time? Do you know? She doesn't do live streams. She doesn't do live streams. Oh, doesn't okay. She just does video, yep. but her videos are very well done, and sometimes, um, because she knows my situation, I could message her. Um, in, in her comment section, or I could say, um, Hey, P is, is Tuesdays because she uploads her videos on Tuesday and Friday. And I, and I'll say, and I would say, Hey, P is, is Tuesday's video going to be visual? Because there are some of her videos that are visual and she's not. She's not speaking in some of them um, for a little while. And so we, you know, we have this thing to where she'll say, it's going to be completely audio. You'll be able to follow it. And now, since she has so many subscribers, she can't do that. And, uh, you know, as much anymore because she's busy. And so... Um, what I'm thinking is, um, cause and, and, and crazy kid, crazy kid, you do kind of help with this too. 
because you know there's sometimes where you'll you'll look at a video and you'll say uh it's going to be audio like you'll yeah. like you you look at it you look at it sometimes and you'll know, be like yep it's 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 audio but like you don't know what she's going to do before she releases it um no not really yeah um, so like i'm i'm to, to get to, to give you guys an idea i'm one I, i'm on her patreon uh, page and some of the things we do get a little bit of advanced mm -hmm. knowledge about but mm -hmm. it's just like you know we don't get to see what's coming up we just get to hear about you know what's coming down the pipe yeah times and um all I can say is that there's going to be some really exciting things coming down the pipe. Yeah, the but what? But what I was saying, crazy kid, is but I'll tell RJ if it's a visual or uh, yeah, uh, or even I'll I'll even describe it sometimes if, if, yeah. we, if we have time. Yeah, that's because, good. Yeah, because like, and and two crazy kid, I I was wondering if. Well, I I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you about that uh, when we when we get off here. But, um, but like sometimes you know sometimes um, she will she will say um, like when she had that blind gentleman on her channel, yeah. she'll say, "Hey, um, this guy's blind. I think you'll like him." Yeah. And I mm -hmm. did. I really liked the guy. The only thing was, was that he could see a little bit. Like mm -hmm. I think he has light perception. I don't um, have any light perception. But he is, he is like gonna be within the next few years, right? Probably if his condition uh, continues speeding up, mm -hmm. he will be completely sightless. Mm. And um, you know, like. The, the, the one cool thing about that particular individual is he had such a positive outlook mm. on his future since he's moved to the Philippines. Yeah. RJ, do you know how to post the stream link? What do you mean? I don't know because uh, Third Angel from the Sun is asking me if I could post the stream link. I don't know what he means by or her, she means by that. Uh, Streamyard link. Oh, Streamyard link. Um, yeah. You, yeah oh, you mean to come on as a guest? Yeah, 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 yeah. You just uh, you can to come, you on can, as, to come on as a guest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, yeah. Yeah, you oh, just um, you try to do it. I, I didn't know. I know how to do it. I didn't know. <laughs> what, yeah, what you just have to invite the person. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I got it. I didn't know. Uh, let's see, copy. Okay. And I go to the chat here and let's see the comments. Yeah, it should be, okay, is it up there? Let's see. It's up there now. Okay, Third Angel, it's up there for you if you want to come on. I didn't know what they were talking about at first. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry, RJ. I'm sorry. Oh, that. that's fine. That's fine. But see, that's the thing. And, and two... Um, a uh, crazy kid can tell you uh, there are people that do not like me. And here we have Angel. How you doing, Angel? Hey, great to meet you. Uh, I saw RJ Sandifer's uh, uh, st uh, simulcast of your stream, and I had no idea who you were there. I thought he was actually. I thought you were actually going to go to his channel there, where he was going to be live, and you'd uh, be there with him there. But uh, I uh, looked up your channel, and great to meet you there. Wise up. Same here. Where, where are you coming from, Angel? Um, the state of Arizona, um, the, um, I don't know if you want to know the city there, um, but uh, it's pretty hot uh, where I live at. But is there, is there a lot of humidity, though? Uh, if 110 plus degrees for 22 days straight is not enough, then I don't know what is. Last week, we actually broke a record temperature of 119 for the first time in uh, like six years. The last time temperatures got that high uh, there was in 2017, according to the um, uh, weather reports uh, that I see on social media. Wow, 120. Can you, can you fry an egg on a, on, a, on a rooftop of a car? Yep. 
I don't really know uh, the, if that's possible, if it's uh, been out all day or for so long, but my uh, the, uh, handlebars uh, on my bike here, if you can see that, um, the handlebars and parts of the uh, metal uh, on my bike where um, I uh, uh, like uh, hold uh, to carry on the, to the uh, um, uh, uh, bike stand uh, uh, riding the bus feels pretty warm, but thankfully the metal of touching it isn't all that hot that burns like my hands or my fingers wow so angel and i um this is this is angel uh munoz and uh we've known each other for what three years now angel probably longer than that i know it was sometime in 2018 or 2019 when we first met yeah and i believe i believe you have autism is that right do you have autism? Yeah, mild high function autism, ADHD, bipolar mood, and seizure disorders. Hmm. Mm. Wow. That's awesome. That's a mouthful. Hmm. But, you well, know. So <laughs> It is a mouthful, but at the same time, uh, there my characteristics is just who, uh, the way that I am. Um, if people got to know me long enough, there they would like uh, get to know me and respect me more there. And I've been trying to get myself notified, notice um, more so around other parts of uh, YouTube here, um, there. And uh, one of the things I often get questioned by people is like, "WTF? Why is he talking so?" loud um why is, is he uh, th um, uh talking so long or long-winded like i get questions in that and for the longest time even from when i was a teenager and go was going through stuff that was more um uh, severe uh, uh, than what it is now but uh, there, um, I still talk as uh, long as you can read a 500-page uh, novel there. And uh, it's just, uh, for me, uh, the way that I talk has always been a characteristic of mine. Uh, my ADHD, if you know what that is, is uh, kind of like a sensitivity, uh, a sensitivity kind of thing to certain things uh, there, or if you know fully in depth. And my bipolar is just uh, another characteristic, so if you know what bipolar disorder is and my mood disorder um, uh, if you know what that is then th that's on top of that there and uh, I, my seizure um, is uh, very rarely that it happens but I've had seizures uh, um, so, uh, like more than I do remember there. And I've even often had family members that uh, approached to me and like asked me if I was all right. And in one time, like 2019, my uh, sister and her uh, husband at the time saw me uh, uh, having a seizure while uh, like they thought I was sleepwalking, but my eyes were, eyes were clear open. And I didn't even realize I had uh, like uh, did that kind of thing. Thing. And um, just the way that I am and the way that I function is just like what I am as a human being. Um, I can't uh, like... Um, uh uh, like uh, let I, 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 people often say to me like uh, thinking as though I can't take care of myself I can't do this and that um, uh, but uh, over these years like these last four years I've actually done more in my life than I could have ever ever imagined from getting out of the services I once was to so much more and uh, I still uh, have people uh, like trying to uh, uh, so-called um, uh, um, uh, criticize or like uh, constructive criticism towards me of how I should be like, oh, learn to talk more quieter, learn to talk more shorter sentence, learn to do this, learn to do that. Like I uh, just uh, get so tired of the so-called constructive criticism that is towards me, then I'm not the only one that feels that way. But at the same time, they're like, I, I know I can't control people's feelings and how they just want me to be, but it would be like me telling someone to go uh, like from uh, white to black or changing how they see uh, of uh, another uh, person or um, if you know where I'm coming from. But there's just so much more of me. I know you like to get to know of their wise from my history to everything I dealt with that I've been through, that I've struggled and to, to people that have uh, done things to me and so much more. But at the same time there, um, I don't want to take over the show. 
Angel, you have your own. Hold on a second. One second. I want to say hello. Bobby, Bobby Bacala, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Mark Schumacher, how are you, buddy? Good Mark to see you. Mark Schumacher. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, Mark is here. John Loadley, welcome. Angel, do you have your, do you, are you a YouTube content creator or no? Yeah, um, the channel Third Angel from the Sun is my channel there. Oh, okay. Okay. Third Angel from the Sun. Okay. Do you, do you have a regu regular, do you do your shows regularly or do you do them once in a while or? Um, I do them quite often there, but I'm kind of probably my horizon of certain things that I do for the channel. I used to just, uh, um, do, um, like, um, fun, uh, kind of, uh, entertaining, uh, streams. And I, uh, used to do, um, a lot of like, um, uh, uh, re uh, um, uh, watching chat streams and also did a lot of product reviews, uh, there. Uh, but I'm getting more so in a different kind of um, area just uh, because um, a few weeks ago I did a video um, there that I want to test something out. And a lot of people seem to have liked it uh, there. So and the video that I did uh, tested out was uh, covering like current events, like the one event I did a few weeks ago was a DoorDash driver cursing at a Texas woman over a $5 tip uh, over, uh, of a, from a $20 order there. So I did like my uh, little uh, thoughts and opinionated story on that piece and just uh, play the, the clip that went viral on TikTok there from the original um, uh, lady that yeah. uploaded that clip. And then once uh, I had a lot of people like uh, the, why I had uploaded uh, just a, l a few days ago, I did a uh, reaction and a discussion live stream to uh, um, Alan, uh, Jason Aldean's um, uh, newest music video, Try That in a Small Town, where it got canceled. So I uh, did that and um, I'm like trying to expand my horizon, seeing what interests people and what also what I feel comfortable of doing. Um, I've uh, watched a lot of news stories and I've also uh, did a lot of like streams in the beginning of my uh, uh, previous uh, the channel that I used to have, which was my bigger channel that was called Angel's Army. But um, I deleted that channel in the summer of last year there just because uh, there was so much going on there from live to uh, people dragging me into situations and all that stuff there. Um, but um, I uh, had a bigger channel but, uh, for this one that I have now, and then um, uh, um, uh, that, um, and then um, the, in the beginning of that uh, previous channel, um, I actually did a lot of live streams um, the, about my services, like how I hated my uh, guardianship, uh, and that was like actually the. Um, inspiration of my first channel that got me to uh, go to the courthouse in Minnesota to file an appeal to um, give me the restoration that the court uh, ruled in my favor of me being my own guardian that gave me the freedom that I wish I would have always had. But let's just say my service uh, and the time in my early adulthood from my um, late teens, like 18, 19 to my early to mid 20s, there was just a lot of stuff going on uh, there. And I could tell more about it if you ever want to know the full history of like what everything I've been through there. So uh, I'll tell you, certainly it's, it seems like you've been through a lot. More yeah. than what people imagine. No, and, no, I can imagine. I, 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 I could tell by listening to you. I could tell by listening well, to you. Angel, Angel's a good guy. He's very humble and he, he listens. Um, you can talk to him about anything. He's a, He's a really good guy. Uh, um, but just uh, make sure that you don't become like the people I've had to deal with uh, in the past there, from those dragging me into situations to those um, like um, uh, uh, dragging things further than what it should be. And on top of so many others, uh, I've lost friends over the years. But with every friend I lose now, it's like accomplishment. Uh, there were another door opens, another uh, um, one opens, if you know what I mean there. Um, uh, um, and so, uh, and I also have heard many times when you, uh, when, when you lose one friend, you'll gain 10 more or something like that. Yeah. And um, 
uh, there's just been so much. I do listen uh, to uh, what people have to say, but uh, when it comes to maybe what they like to say to me, um, that is on a respectable personal level that ain't try to uh, so-called uh, um, uh, uh, criticize me or uh, give me constructive criticism of how I should change as a human being, as I said before, just as long as you say, uh, well, I just want to give you the advice, keep on moving or keep on being you or just something of that nature that just lets me know I'm doing a great job of who I am as a 33-year-old. And I yeah, can it's tell hard you. to imagine that it's hard to imagine of me being 33 when you look at my face. I can uh, I was just gonna say that you 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 don't look 33. You look great. I can tell you this, <laughs> Angel. I can tell you this, Angel. I've been around these guys for a, for like two weeks now. There's no drama here. There's none of that. You will not find any drama with these people. These Angel, I was telling I, I was telling RJ that the community that I'm involved with, the my colleagues, and I, I call them colleagues, but the group of people, content creators, which I call hosts, that I'm involved in, our shows are we don't have any drama whatsoever. Um, we have very relaxed, fun shows. Um, we have great listeners. They're all but, respectful. They're all oh, respectful. Cool. Um, I would like to come up as a guest one of these days. If you ever want to reach out to me, um, yeah. you can uh, go to my channel and uh, my email address uh, to my Google account. Um, but there is underneath my about section of my YouTube channel. If you go um, on your uh, web browser, on your computer there. Um, and um, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you know uh, how to discover someone's email. So I don't need to explain yeah. it of how to do it. Um, but at the same time, um, there um i don't have any i do have social media but they're not uh, linked or posted on my youtube channel as of right now um been testing out a new computer i got a, a little over a week ago and still figuring things out there um on uh, the my behalf there um it ain't no high-end computer but it's just like uh, at a decent uh, enough speed with uh, ram uh, storage and uh, processor speed that is uh, able to, like, let's say, live stream with no uh, form of slowing down or glitches or any of that stuff there. Um, that's uh, smooth enough to do an entire two hour live stream or even multitask in between uh, streams or while I'm streaming. What's that noise? Oh, it's my dogs. That's uh, probably RJ's dog. <laughs> that's my dogs. That's good. They're, that's good. They're my pets. Let me. Um, the pets I got are dust bunnies. Yeah, let me let me take care of something, you guys, real quick. Um, I'm, I'm, I think my I think my um, my dogs need something, so Go I'll ahead, be right RJ, back. You have to do. Yep. I'm, I'm going to end this show. I'm going to end this show in a couple of minutes. But I, Angel, I want to thank you for joining me. I. I uh, Crazy kid. Thank um, you. Girl, uh, reach out to me by email, or if you want to, like, look up uh, me on social media, yeah. um, just email me and I can send you the links to my social media to there. But either which way, reach out to me by email at my Gmail uh, address in the about section uh, of my YouTube uh, channel there. I'm going to type in the chat once more so you could know and look me up there. Okay. Um, and uh, feel free to subscribe to their uh, Wise Up. I'm happy to have met you. And and um, uh, we'll uh, figure things out to do a stream together like what you and RJ did uh, here. Maybe we, uh, me and RJ could team up with you and do one together here. Angel, what time, what time is it out there in Arizona right now? Right now it's 5.38 p.m. So um, if you're on the East Coast, it's 8.38 p.m. If you're yeah. in the Central Time Zone, it's 7.38 p.m. And if you're in the um, uh, 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 West where like California is at, if I'm not mistaken, it's the uh, same time as me, as people and those in California. Yeah, the reason why I was asking, because there's still light out there. I see that it's, it's bright. Yeah, um, it's going to be a, a sundown here soon. I'm starting to see the sun starting to, uh, s to like uh, um, go down, but still there's enough light uh, here as of right now, but it'll be sunset here soon. God, I, you know, I can't, you're telling me before 122 degrees for how many days now? 22 days? You got 100, the temperature is 122 
for 110. Well, no, well, right now the temperature here in Arizona, where I live at, um, it's 110 right now. Um, it was a high of 116 today. Wow. I mean, it's hot here in Jersey. I'm in. New we're in New Jersey. I'm in New Jersey, so it's hot here. But I can't imagine 110 out in Arizona. So if I'm uh, like uh, guessing correctly, you're on the uh, East Coast. Yeah, I mean, I'm in New Jersey. Yeah, I'm on the East Coast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, th that's uh, kind of like why I told you the time zones. They're uh, just for, uh, the, because Arizona doesn't do daylight saving time. Uh, they are their own time zone. So when you uh, move forward in the uh, spring and go backward in the fall, Arizona doesn't do that. So um, anytime I tell that to someone um, is where I tell the time zone difference. Uh, for, uh, so when the, the fall time comes around and people bring their clocks backwards there, it'll be a two hour difference between me and you there, wise up. And it'll be an hour difference for those in the central time zone. And it'll be uh, like um, uh, um, uh, people and those on the West Coast, um, they will be an hour under me. So it would be uh, 4 uh, 40 p.m. for them in like california there when the people move their cocks backward in the fall of there oh ricardo i'm sorry I, I i i i'm not ignoring you at all welcome ricardo welcome uh, crazy kid are you still are you still here yeah i'm still here all right i i just find it um um i get interrupted so many times in real life i don't Inter I, I try not to interrupt anybody else. Yeah, yeah and you know what? I'm not, I got to tell you, Ricardo, I am not the greatest uh, as far as uh, the chat is concerned. I'm uh, I'm not that proficient. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm in tune to who's on the show and, and what they're saying. So um, I'm, not, well, I'm not ignoring, I'm not, hold on, Angel. I'm not ignoring you. Right. And and welcome, I, I welcome to the show. Thank you very much for stopping in. So I just want to say that to you. Uh, there's a pool um, in my um, uh, mobile home community that I live in because I own my own house, uh, but I pay the lot rent for the home to stay on there. I do have title to the property, but because uh, the land does not come with the house, um, I uh, have to pay the lot rent fee within the community that I live in. There is a pool, but I barely... Oh, we lost Angel. So, um, hey, man, 101, 101, 101, 101, 101. that's the uh, internet way to call 911. We lost names. Oh, boy. Oh, well, anybody know the binary uh code for 911? Uh, well, so I'm gonna, I want to thank you for having me on. Um, RJ, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. I gotta tell you something, you were the, you, you, yeah, you, I know. Were, you were the quickest. Oh. I think I think we lost RJ. Oh man! I think oh, oh, there he is. I just want to say, RJ, thank you so much. You gave me the quickest response I've ever received for a guest to come on because usually it's very difficult to you know to get together with a guest. So there's time there's time constraints. That the, you you have a schedule, I have a schedule. So thank you for replying to me so quickly. I really All righty. Thanks. Uh, uh, thanks for having me on, brother. And uh, um, it was a pleasure. I will pleasure. talk to y'all. Later on, uh oh, and everything. So, uh, thank you for having me on, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. And I'll be, you'll be seeing me, you'll be seeing more of me. All right, all right, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate Crazy you having me on as well, bud. Uh, you said you wanted to, to end this soon, so yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you do that. And I really appreciate the uh, the uh, invite to come up. And uh, no really problem, anytime, that. anytime. And Anytime. if I ever get a chance to go to Jersey, <laughs> I've got a five book series that I'm, I, I got to try and uh, get the funding for the publishing for it. Um, the publishing company that wants to do my book is um, Newman Springs, actually in Jersey. So if I ever get the, the, the funds together to get that going and then get my passport, yeah, I'll be heading over to Jersey. I'll be like, all right, wise up. Let's hit that coffee shop. Hey, just at any time, buddy. Because you, you, you seem like you're, you're almost like uh, one of my best friends from like, you know, 40 years ago. You know, like that's how that's how the kind of vibe I get from you. Yeah. <laughs>
I, listen, when they made me, they broke the mold. <laughs> yeah, well, they did the same with me. Yeah. I kind of slipped out and said, you know, you ain't going to catch me, you know. <laughs> no, I, listen, crazy kid, I, I got to be honest. I kid and joke all day long. I'm, I'm only serious when I really have to be serious because life is too short. Yeah. You know, and that's just my personality. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, when, was singing, when RJ was singing, I was I keep thinking to myself, every time he does that, I'm like, you know, it's better him singing than me because like 26 years ago, Ricardo, I, I cleared out a, fucking, um, a karaoke bar. Ricardo, actually. I'm singing the second line of a, of a song. Ricardo, it's my show. It's my show. The Wise Up Show, yeah. Ricardo. Yeah, Ricardo's right. asking me whose show it is. I guess because of the stream that's confusing people whose show it really is. It's my show. Yeah. But anyway... All right, I'm going to end this. Thank you guys so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. You guys are great. You'll be hearing from me. Definitely. I can't yeah. wait, sir. And uh, I hope you have fun until then. All right. Crazy kid. Take care, buddy. Yeah, take Talk care. Well, that's it. Three great guys. Three great, great guys. Uh, really nice personalities. Down to earth positive and you really couldn't ask for for a nicer bunch of guys and like i said everything everything happens for a reason and you know our paths crossed and uh you know and it's you know we just continue on everybody i want to thank you so much for joining me tonight it was a long show tonight but i don't end my shows 20 minutes a half hour i let the shows run and when it ends, it ends, you know, because people always have the option of, uh, you know, watching the replay in the, or when, the, when it's a live show coming into the show and, and going out of the show because they're things that they have to do. So I don't, I don't put any time constraints uh, on my show. Uh, I just, I just let them run. So for everybody who joined me tonight, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, stay well. And I will see you all soon. Have a good one. God bless.